Again, we're dealing with the ego mind here, and of course the ego mind, because it likes to think of itself as superior and good and important and great and all this, it will tend to evaluate itself as higher and more developed and more mature than it really is. And it'll also, especially earlier stages of the ego, might want to get competitive and try to like, you know, be the best and try to just achieve, you know, that achiever ego. It might want to go through the stages as quickly as possible to achieve the ultimate stage, thinking that that's where the happiness is, at the ultimate stage. Um, and uh, that's not quite correct. Really, life is about development. Your whole life is a developmental process. There's an arc to your entire life if you're living it properly, if you're self-actualizing. And one of the things I especially learned in the last year or two is to not rush to get towards enlightenment or towards awakening or some of these highest stages that you hear teachers talking about. Because when you try to rush it prematurely without having gone through the lower stages and really exploring them fully, what ends up happening is that actually you're not able to sustain the higher levels anyways, and you just frustrate yourself because you 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 sort of reach for them even though you're not up to the task. It's almost like you're in fifth grade and then you're trying to learn calculus. You're not going to understand calculus at fifth grade. The proper thing there is to realize that mathematics is a deep field of study and there's plenty of time and you don't need to feel bad for not being able to understand calculus in fifth grade. Just, you know, pace yourself. This is a long process. You've got many decades to your life. So therefore, you've got time to, you know, spend a couple of years on each stage, at least, maybe even five, maybe even 10 years on each stage. You've got time for that. Most of you do, at least. See, so um, don't be, don't be in too much of a rush. At the same time, also, of course, don't dawdle and don't just sit around twiddling your thumbs and don't be lazy and complacent and not grow. So, of course, if you feel like you need to go to the next stage, go to the next stage. And I would push you to, to, you know, to get out of your comfort zone and push yourself into the next stage, even when you don't feel quite ready for it yet. But also not so much to the point where you are not fully experiencing the stage and not fully learning all of the material and insight in the stage because you want to skip it to get to the next one. You see, it's sort of like you want to skip geometry to get to calculus. You want to skip trigonometry to get to calculus. You want to skip algebra to get to calculus. And if you do that, you're not really going to have a solid understanding of calculus because it's built upon understanding algebra and geometry and trigonometry and all that basic stuff, you see. But at the same time, you don't want to be studying geometry for five years either. You don't want to get stuck on geometry. So find that balance. You're going to have to find that balance. It's a little tricky. And it's hard to say, you know, whether you're going too fast or too slow, only you can evaluate that. 